a little bit about bedrock here. We know that gold is heavy. We know it sinks down through gravels to bedrock or clay layers or something like that. But we want to talk a little bit about the different types of bedrock and a few different situations. We're going to start, it's not really to do with bedrock, but it's to do with waterfalls. We're going to start to talk about plunge pools. Remember that term, plunge pools. When you have a river flowing down and then it goes over an edge. So you have the water flowing nicely and then it falls over an edge of something. As that water carries gravel and gold and everything else with it, there's stuff in suspension, there's stuff going down, as it falls down and hits the bottom, all of that gravel, all those rocks and sand and everything hitting the bottom with a lot of force starts to erode away the bedrock. We start slowly getting a dish, a bigger dish, and a bigger dish eroding down into the bedrock. Now it erodes it there because that's where the water is hitting. The water then go, sort of goes and kicks up and then continues flowing down its merry way down the hillside. This here, this little divot, we call a plunge pool. Now plunge pools can be very, very interesting. If the water comes down, hits there, scoots along the bottom and goes up and does what we call scouring, basically cleans everything out in runoff, you won't find gold there, or you won't find much. If it doesn't scour, if the water falls down and big boulders end up in the bottom here that can't kick their way out, and then the new gravel falls in there and sort of just mixes up with it, and then most of it gets kicked out but leaves the heaviest stuff behind, you can end up with crazy gold deposits in the bottom of plunge pools. There are stories uh, up in Alaska of people mining plunge pools where they actually go and divert the river away from the plunge pool completely. They divert it through the hillside and then go and clean that out and finding millions and millions of dollars worth of gold in the bottom of some plunge pools. Crazy it's amounts. It's illegal though to change the river, right? Nowadays, uh, we can't go and change river directions like that. We're not allowed to. But back in the day when they didn't really think too much environmentally, yeah, they would, they would sometimes go and blast out mountainsides so the river could go somewhere else so that they could start working the bottom of the rivers. And plunge pools were a target, a real target. If you guys remember uh, the first couple seasons of Gold Rush, where the old guy was always talking about the glory hole, he was talking about a plunge pool. Bottom of a waterfall where it collected the heaviest stuff. That was the glory hole he was talking about. That plunge pool. Pay attention back there. Thank you. Now, drops in rivers don't have to be actual waterfalls. You don't have to see this plummeting water down there. The drop can be a foot, two feet. Could be two feet. Two feet where water went over just a bit of a ledge. And that little two foot drop could be enough to erode away a small little plunge pool. We often call those just river drops, river drops where it just goes over something. But again, if you can find that hole in the bottom, it's great. There's another type of deposit that makes a, a hole like that. And we call, call, often call them either potholes or post, po post pockets. That you'll see them in a big flat piece of bedrock. You'll see this round hole this round hole that can go down a foot and a half to two feet, and it could be, oh, a couple feet in diameter, it could be four feet in diameter. 
There's no waterfall anywhere near those creating that hole. What that is, is a small rock. You have flat bedrock, flat bedrock, with a small divot of some sort in that bedrock. It doesn't even have to be much. It can be any kind of little hole that was left there. And a rock, a significant size hard rock, falls in that divot. As the water washes by that rock, it doesn't have enough uh, force to kick it out of that divot, but what it can do is it can start that rock spinning or going in a bit of a circle around in that pocket. And it just moves around and moves around and moves around. And for years, well, during runoff, it's usually active. After runoff, it stops. But for a long, long time, that one hard rock can stay in that pocket swirling around. And it slowly erodes away that rock. That rock slowly goes away because it's just being brushed off by the bedrock. But it's also eroding the way the bedrock. And the more it spins in that pocket, the deeper that pocket gets to the point where there's no way that rock could ever get out of there. But it makes this little hole in the bedrock. And actually, as this happens, these holes can get really crazy. It could be a two feet across at the top, but as that rock spins around in there, they can actually get bigger underneath than they are on top. Got some crazy pictures of the Oyster River up uh, on Vancouver Island with huge plunge pool or huge uh, pockets like this, and they've actually eroded away underneath more than on top. And there are so many of them that they've connected up underneath. And you can actually see down into them, and you can see light coming in this one, but you're looking in that one, and you can see the light coming through. Um, really, really neat. Now, these uh, pockets, these potholes, if they are active, if the rock is still in there and still churning every um, spring, break, spring runoff, not much chance of finding gold in them. The reason is, if a particle of gold falls down into there with this rock, grinding around constantly. What's going to happen to that soft piece of gold? Hmm? It gets hammered flat. It gets ground up into dust. It gets ground smaller and smaller and smaller until it's just a fine, fine dust and gets kicked out. Where these, where these pockets become great gold captures is when it's no longer active. When more big rocks fall in, and they jam it up. Now all of a sudden there's nothing moving in there and when nothing's moving the gold particles that were sort of going along that bedrock washing down and fall in they now settle in there all around these rocks. If you can find potholes that are not active they can be a great place to catch gold. A little pothole like this up on Shorts Creek. It was about that big around, about that deep. Cleared it out right in the bottom. Actually, the first half of it, I, I didn't find anything. Right in the very bottom of it, though, I had one pan that had about 40 pieces of gold, and some of them were nice big pieces, too. It all settled right in the bottom of that pothole. Okay, so remember, plunge pools and potholes. Divots in the bedrock that capture gold. Any questions about those? Come on, you guys are more awake now. Come up with something. Yes? Creek to find those uh, holes. Uh, you can find those in any creek. Any creek where the bedrock is exposed. So you see exposed bedrock. Uh, different types of bedrock will erode away differently. And I'm going to talk about different types of bedrock next. Uh, but you're typically finding those in a very hard bedrock. Very, very hard bedrock. Um, I've seen them on Bear Creek. I've seen them on Shorts Creek over here. Uh, that's Fintree. 
Pintree oh. area. Uh, Tulamine River, they're everywhere on Tulamine River when you see the bedrock, and there's you can get big ones. There's gold near Pintree? What's that? There's, there's gold near Pintree? Yep, there's gold in Shorts Creek on Pintree. Yep. Yep. And remember, for plunge pools, if they're getting scoured, if the water is clearing everything out during spring runoff, you probably won't find gold in there. If it's concreted up with big boulders and stuff, it's not being cleared out, you can find great gold. Uh, same thing with those potholes. If they're active, if the rock is still spinning, grinding more If the rock is still spinning and grinding more in there, it's going to grind up the gold and kick it out. If it's concreted up with rocks and it's not active, it's not moving, great spot to capture gold. 